because of the concept involved, the training was conducted in a series of workshops over three days. The idea was to empower stakeholders on how to respond to family and sexual violences in their workplace, communities and within their families. This training is the second series of three series. The first was held in March and the next will be July. In Papua New Guinea, family and sexual violence rates has increased in recent years. At the Lay Metropolitan Command, over 40 cases of sexual violence are reported in a week. The perpetrators are not, some, are not those ones who are living outside of the family or Lonara Plahapa. They're the ones who eat and sleep under the same roof with the uh, victims and the parents. Huh? Similar figures are also reported to other provincial police stations. Thus, the PNG Australian Joint Law and Sector Partnership Program was initiated to assist community and spiritual leaders, parents and teachers on how to think, speak and act when addressing the violence. The Civil Society, TLDP, trainer who co-facilitated the training, said the territory stakeholders who participated in the May training were outstanding and have the opportunity to undergo the training of trainers. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.